Now I want to talk about the morality of children's sexuality. Little children are born to the grace of God into this world with no sin. They're born into a sinful world and in a sinful environment, but they themselves have no sin. That's why Jesus said to his disciples, he put a little child amongst him, he said, except you become like this little child, you shall in no wise enter the kingdom of heaven. Why did he say that? Because a child doesn't have sin. Now, there is an age of accountability, of course, where the child will give account accountability to God. But up to that stage, the parents and the uh, family of the child will give God accountability. And the teachers, Sunday school teachers and whatever, wherever the child goes, or the friends of the father and mother. Now, the problem is this, that the child, a little child, they are so beautiful, they are so precious, they are so adorable, really, they can be a little bit naughty now, but actually there are, there's adorable things in them. Um, my, my grandchildren, really, I love them so much, my wife loves them, and they love us so much. And there are adorable things. Uh, I'm astonished and astounded to see the things they come up with. It's like they can reason at a certain stage, even though they're two and a half years or three years old, they reason with the reasoning that actually it amazes me. I promise you, it amazes my wife too. We often laugh about it. Because they come up with things that you never ever dreamt they would come up with. Now that's the innocence of childhood. There's a beauty in children and there's a freedom. Now when, when, they, uh, when they are molested or sexually abused, that child's personality changes. It's like, it's like the eyes are suddenly opened. It's like a bomb has been put in the hand and you've told them to hold the bomb and it blows the hand off. That child goes into shock. There's a spiritual shock, there's a natural shock, there's a physical shock. And I've prayed with people here, a woman that's 67 years old. And going down to the problem of why she cannot cope with life at 67 years old, it's because she was molested as a child. Some people, some uh, families, the children are molested even um, even the early months of after being born, God will not hold people unaccountable. Whether it's now in this life or in the life thereafter, for filling it with children, sexually. I hate that. I can't stand it. I've dealt with so many cases and the heartaches in these children and the inability to cope. They want to commit suicide. I, I, there were two girls, two young girls, 14 and 15, if I remember correctly, or 14 and 16. Their father raped them. And I said to the one girl, God shows me that every single day of your life you want to commit suicide. She, she said, yeah, this, this divide, it, huh? that's true. I was shocked at the revelation that God gave me. But she admitted, said it's true. Anyway, I dealt with the girls for seven months and the, uh, they were completely set free through the grace and mercy and love of God. Now, honestly, keep your hands away from little children's sexual parts. Don't even touch them. I understand that a mother has to clean the baby. That is part of a duty. And I understand that sometimes the father has to clean the baby. And I also understand sometimes that the auntie or the uncle have to clean the baby, or even the grandfather and the grandmother, is due to circumstances. But keep your hands to yourself, really and truly. Because I can tell you something, that I have 
prayed with people who have molested with little children and the ends are very sticky. Very sticky. They have sticky ends. And some of them die prematurely. prematurely. They die before their time because they don't repent. Now, it's a strange thing to say, but whatever a child is accustomed to, if they're accustomed to a pure life, they live a pure life. If they're accustomed to a molested life, they, or a, a life that's been raped, they live that type of life. And what's more, they take it over into life and they start doing the same thing to other people, to other children. So it's a compounded, evil, sinful, wicked, iniquitous way of living. And through the grace and mercy of God, I can really say that the people that have come to see me, God has actually looked after them. The Holy Spirit has helped them. He set them free, he delivered them from their bondages, and they live a normal life. There's only two types of people on earth, as far as God. The one is the abnormal, and the other one is the normal. The normal children, they grow up, doesn't matter what nationality they are, but they grow up with unsexual abnormalities. The, the other lot, they grow up with sexual abnormalities and um, aberrations and inhibitions and exhibitions that really and truly hurt them. They are hurting. Really and truly. I wouldn't touch a little child. In fact, all my life, that's one thing I've never done through the grace and mercy of God. Okay, I've, I've done other sins, but not that. Jesus said, for such is the kingdom of heaven, it's the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven. Now, dear friend, if you're guilty of these things, there's deliverance for you. If you've been molested, all right, there's deliverance for you because God will deliver you. But come, be open about it. Go and see somebody that you can really trust that will give you deliverance. And for goodness sake, once you've delivered, stay away from little children's sexual parts. You bring them into such bondage that only God alone knows where you will end up one day. Now there is love and there is mercy and there is grace for God for everybody on earth. But for those that forsake it, that confess it, that repent of it, and that leave it alone. You know what I'm talking about. If you've been molested, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you haven't been molested, you won't know what I'm talking about. Because you're a normal person. If you've been molested or raped or sodomized or whatever, you are a normal person. And there is deliverance for you. God can deliver you. Go and see a deliverer. Go to those that are trustworthy and those that you can trust and believe in and have got a good reputation and you will be delivered. Show a good morality and a good righteousness towards little children because God will not hold you guiltless. Thank you for listening. I'm going to change the subject shortly. There's a new set of values I'm going to talk about. May God bless you. Thank you.